Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Forming a Franchise. It's been a while. Uh, coronavirus has definitely prevented me from picking up the camera um, because I've decided to keep myself very busy. Busy growing this uh, pretty hideous beard. But I think today's the day it's coming off. Um, just figured I'd pick up the camera, show you what I've been up to. Um, right now, I'm doing what I do most mornings. I'm actually starting my day at home, um, sitting on the front porch, just relaxing for a little bit, um, drinking a little bit of hot chocolate because I don't drink coffee, uh, and just not necessarily watching the sunrise, but I do have a pretty sunrise here. Um, so I'll take a look. So this is my view in the mornings. Uh, sun rises on one side of my house and sets on the other side of my house. So you can sit up, see here in the morning, watch the sunrise a little bit, get some really beautiful oranges, listen to the birds and things like that. And uh, just a really peaceful way to start the day. Um, coronavirus times have been interesting for a lot of people. And like I said, I haven't picked up the camera and I feel bad um, about that. But to be honest with you, we've kept very busy. Uh, I'm gonna walk you guys to the rear of my house to show you some of the stuff we've been doing at the house. But um, you know, during coronavirus times, a lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people are unemployed. Um, and I feel very, very fortunate that we're not in that situation. Um, so uh, Cinch IT is definitely an essential business and if anything we've stayed busy um, really busy because we're a technology company when people started to work from home they needed us more than ever um, and uh, so we got really really busy once people got settled in working from home and they had all their technology pieces in place and they've you know they troubleshot you know things that come along with working from home the fact that them husbands wives children are all utilizing the same internet and streaming and things like that and the internet was slow uh, once they got through all of that stuff then things slowed down for us uh, and we got to take on other projects so i've actually got a lot done at the house here's one of them here i'll show you guys this uh, i got a big wrap around porch that goes all the way around my house and we started tearing it off and put a new deck on the uh, porch that wraps around the house so that's the front porch where i sit out and uh this is the side porch and it wraps all the way around so we started tearing it off and then i live on 54 acres so you know 54 acres of mostly wooded trail so we take the atvs out on the trails and things like that um, but we didn't have much of a backyard so as you can see the excavator over there we have dropped a lot of trees we dropped a lot of trees in the backyard and now we got to bring in fill and uh, whatnot so we can actually have a nice big open backyard area um, so this has been a fun project um, i've been out here so we bought a tractor ourselves not that big excavator but we bought a, a smaller tractor so we can do a lot of the work ourselves as well um, something i enjoy doing so yeah there's going to be the goal is to put a pool in this area or over here and then have a nice big open grass area for the kids to be able to play um, put our own little soccer field back here and then I don't know if you can see but in the back corner over there that's the entrance to the trails where you take the ATVs and things like that and it just goes on and on and on back there for like I said about 54 acres there's a small there's a couple streams back there and a small uh, beaver pond and things like that so um, it's got uh, again I've taken the opportunity to do a lot around the house at home, which has been nice. Um, I put a post out on Instagram a while back just saying I don't understand when business owners say they get bored during these times. I really don't. I understand if a child says something like that, right? I'm bored because I'm playing video games all day or watching TV or things like that, or I can't see my friends or go outside. I completely get that. As a business owner, I don't. There's just, there's always so much to do that I don't understand how everybody gets bored. So in either case, those are a couple of things that we're doing here um, at the house. And uh, it's about 5 a.m. right now. We're gonna head into the office and we'll show you what you, we've been up to at the office and just film for the day. It's been a while since we picked up the camera and I just wanna show you guys what we've been up to. All right, so time to get ready for work. 
time to shave my Corona beard off. What do you guys think? Nice to finally see the jawline, or lack thereof. Time to jump in the shower and head to work. No camera for this one. All right guys, that's it. Showered, dressed, ready. We're heading off to the office to show you what we've been up to at the office. Um, earlier we talked about uh, different things that, that I've done to keep myself busy during the corona times. Um, and one of the things I actually have been doing a lot for probably a, a few years, but it's uh, it's been more and more during the corona times is listening to a lot of audiobooks. Um, I love listening to audiobooks. Um, I probably do on average about two a week right now. Uh, and so I'm in the car. I don't have a long ride to the office, uh, but uh, I'm actually reading Robert Iger's The Ride of a Lifetime. I have about four hours left in this book. And uh, so, that's it. I turn on the book, relax, get our mind right, while we head to the office. NBC. I knew Steve well. He had worked for me for two years, from 1996 to 1998. And the camera's falling. And had been with Disney for 10 years before that, most recently at Disneyland Paris. When Michael replaced him there and brought him back to New York, let's go. Steve came to work for me. All right, so we're finally at the office. Time to show you guys what we've been up to here at the office over the last couple months. <clears throat> so, I would say about three or four years ago, we bought a large commercial building. Uh, had a lot of tenants in it. Uh, it's about 12,000 square feet, and we determined this was gonna be our future headquarters. And so, over the last couple years, we've slowly taken over more and more space within this office. As tenants have moved out, we've consumed more space because we've been growing incredibly fast. So, um, beginning of COVID, we were down to one tenant still in the building. That's it, just one tenant, but he had a really nice space. Um, it was a lawyer's office uh, that rented from us and COVID hit him hard. Um, and he just honestly couldn't afford to rent, wanted to downsize into a smaller space, really nice guy. Um, his lease wasn't up until later this year, but we let him out early. Um, there's no reason not to, right? Um, so if we can help, we will. Uh, and we could certainly use the space ourselves. So uh, we let him out of the lease, we even moved him into uh, his new building, we helped move him in there. Um, and then we started construction on a new entrance way for Cinch franchise. So when potential franchise buyers come um, to us for a discovery day, right, when they're able to travel and things like that, they'll come here, they'll do a discovery day, they'll tour the HQ, they'll meet with the management staff, uh, they'll get an opportunity to ask as many questions as possible. It's, it's almost like a two-way interview. We interview them, they interview us. Um, and so we want to have a really nice space for them to be able to come and visit. Now the tricky part for us, maybe versus some of the other franchises that are out there, is we are a technology company, which means a lot of the information conversations um, that we have are confidential. So one of the things we can't do is have our franchise owners kind of just walking around the building unescorted. Um, they still have sign an NDA, they still sign a non-disclosure. Um, 
anybody does when they enter the building <clears throat> but our building is a locked facility 24 hours a day we don't let anybody in the building or throughout the building without being escorted um, so it was important to um, create a space that had controlled access that they could come they could spend the entire day down here without having to walk through any of the other parts of the building um, and that's what the space is it's a private entrance <clears throat> you actually I, where i just parked is actually the rear of the building we were able to park in the rear of the building it's got its own separate entrance they get to walk in and they are in a, uh, a smaller but a guided area it's everything they possibly need so that's what I'm gonna show you guys. So this used to be a lawyer's office <clears throat> that we spent the last couple months um, basically renovating, bringing it up to our brand standards and just creating a really nice space. So here we go. This is the entranceway. So when you walk in this main door here, you come in, you see some of the franchise owners. We still got a couple to put up there, but you got five franchise owners pictures up there. You got the Inc. 5000 pictures. This is the reception desk. That's They actually sign in just over here where they sign their NDA. Um, they check off who they're here to see and that person can come down here and meet them um, when you come into the reception area. Then we got a nice little waiting room <clears throat> over here where they can come in, they can have a seat, look at some of the awards on the walls and just relax and spend some time uh, while they're waiting for whoever they're here to meet to come down and visit them. Then through this door over here is the main conference room. So this is our main conference here. We have a lot of conference rooms here, but this is the main conference room. So this is when our franchise owners come in here for a discovery day. They'll actually spend the day and not the entire day, but they'll spend a, a quite a bit of time in here actually meeting with our franchise development people, our management staff um, as well. So it's just a nice area for them to be able to meet. Take a look at some of this. Look at this luggage, guys. I love this. Some luggage, some Cinch IT swag that we got here. Love this one. Keyboard Warriors. Um, so it's just a nice space for them to be able to come and uh, meet the crew. Also, this office space is where we're going to be doing um, Cinch University. So when they come through and do... Um, you know, when they become a franchisee, they're actually going to do a 12-week um, training with us, both technical and sales. Um, and so most of it's done remote, but they do come up here and they spend two weeks with us in some live environment training um, where they'll spend both their sales and their tech will come up here and spend some time. This is also the office. So that, that conference room right back there is where they'll spend their time um, on the sales side. They do a lot of their sales training in that office when they're not in the field. So let's walk through and see where they're gonna do the technical training. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy here. Let's get to the lights first. <clears throat> All right. So this is where they do the technical training. So the technical training is right back in here, conference room with their little TV. So they can do some guided classes. And then I think you guys have seen this before when it was in other parts of the building. This is um, a demo environment. So they can come here and they can actually practice certain skill sets, whether that's installing servers or access points, firewalls, configuring stuff. So this is a demo um, area for them to be able to use. Couple uh, offices that are down here. This is Jason Herman's area. Jason runs the technical training program. So he's in here. This is his space. This is his baby. Um, his area actually extends all the way down into this hall. They have uh, some additional equipment down the end of the hall they can take apart and take a look at. Um, our director of franchise development, Jack Wilson, is back here. Yeah. So he's back here with his crazy, ridiculous monitor setups. Um, but this is where Jack is and while he works with the entire team down here. Jack runs um, the development department, but also the sales training department. So when the franchisees come in and do their training, they'll actually sit with him um, down here in the space in that sales area. So this was wallpapered, it was ugly. Um, sorry, Jack, <laughs> the lawyer who was here before. It was just an ugly space. Um, certainly wasn't within our brand standards so for the last couple months we've been down here 
renovating, doing a tearing off uh, wallpaper, um, painting, putting in flooring, bringing down furniture, moving desks around, hanging um, pictures. Check this out. My wife actually makes these. I don't know if you guys can see those there. Little cinch IT curtains. So my wife actually makes those. Um, so just all kinds of stuff. Um, trying to use the time wisely. We have the space available. It's a great space for our franchisees. It's a great space for us to be able to expand into. Um, and this means we are officially the only one in this entire building. We no longer have any tenants. So the entire building is ours, which is really nice. Um, and now we get to do whatever we want with here. So uh, we're also building a gym. I won't show you guys that just yet. That's in the very beginning stages. I'll show you that one of these days. Uh, but we're building a, a, a gym, a private gym just for employees um, here. Uh, I know a lot of people have voiced that they would love to have that. Um, and it's something that's kind of always been on the roadmap for us. So we did start construction on a gym here in the building. A um, lot going on. We're keeping ourselves busy. So. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some of the uh, renovations we've been doing and, and some of the ways I've been keeping myself busy. The company's been keeping themselves busy during the corona times. Um, I hope you guys have been keeping busy too. Like I said, whether it's professional development, personal development, maybe just spending time with your family, right? Giving us an opportunity to to be at home with them more, spend more time with them. So hopefully you guys have been using that time wisely as well. So thanks for checking in to another episode. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep filming, show you guys the rest of the day or not, but if I don't, thanks for checking in guys.